The White House is denying a new report that President Trump had an extramarital affair before he launched his political career. A story in The New Yorker says former Playboy model Karen McDougal had the affair with Donald Trump for about nine months. McDougal says it started when she met Mr. Trump in 2006 at the Playboy Mansion following a taping of his reality show The Apprentice. CBS News White House reporter Jackie Alemany is traveling with the president in Florida. Jackie, good morning. Good morning. The timing of the alleged affair puts it less than two years into Donald Trump's marriage with Melania Trump. The article also raises questions about whether or not another publication was trying to bury McDougal's story. We spoke with Ronan Farrow, who broke the story. Karen McDougal in this written document stresses that her relationship with Donald Trump was entirely consensual. But her story reveals commonalities with story after story that has now emerged about Donald Trump's either consensual relationships with women or alleged non-consensual advances. McDougal sold the rights to her story to the publisher of the National Enquirer, barring her from discussing the details of her relationship with Trump. The story never ran. The former Playboy model told New Yorker reporter Ronan Farrow that the Me Too movement emboldened her to come forward with her story, despite fears of legal retaliation. She acknowledges that this is a different kind of case, but it has the commonality of powerful men using elaborate systems to silence women uh, and stories those women might tell about them. And she said that she didn't want to be silent anymore and that she hoped her speaking about this system that ensnared her uh, might encourage other women to step forward. The New Yorker report comes days after Trump lawyer Michael Cohen admitted to paying off Stormy Daniels, an adult film star who also once claimed to have had an affair with Trump in 2006. The payment has raised questions with the Federal Election Commission, as it could be in violation of campaign finance laws. A White House official refused to go on the record but called McDougal's story, quote, fake news. We asked White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders last year if all of Trump's accusers were lying. Her answer was yes. Anthony. Jackie Alemany traveling with the president in Florida. Thanks.